Well, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you can hear me well. Uh, today we are uh, doing a train travel, something a little bit different. Uh, we're going to be taking the Hitachi Express uh, from Weno. We are uh, in Weno, as you can see, we have the pandas, we have the train up top. Uh, we're going to be walking through Amiokocho and uh, heading up uh, Weno Station, uh, showing you how to buy tickets, hopefully. Uh, show you a little bit inside Weno Station and then we're going to take about a, about a 45-50 minute uh, train ride uh, up into Ibaraki and uh, I really hope you enjoy this. Uh, something a little bit different. Uh, let me turn the camera around here and say good morning to everybody. And uh, good morning everybody. Uh, thanks for joining. It is a beautiful day here in Tokyo again. Um, I wish uh, you all well. And I hope that uh, you really enjoy something a little bit different. Um, I haven't been up to Ibaraki in a while, so uh, it's basically going to be a train ride. Uh, you know, a little bit of chit-chat, seeing the, the scenic view as we go along on the train. Hopefully, hopefully, um, you know, the reception will be uh, good. And uh, then once we get to my location, I'm going to uh, kind of walk around and show you a little bit of a, a countryside or an Inaka kind of town uh, in Ibaraki. We are going to Ishioka today. Um, I haven't been there in a while. So good morning everybody. Hi mom, how are you? Uh, Nancy on, Sandra Butler, Nick R, good morning. Dr. Link, uh, who else is here? Antoliana, hey Construction Cronies, how are you? Vin and Indigo Rose I see so far. So thank you all for being here, I really appreciate it. I don't have much time. I gotta get a 9.30 train which is in 25 minutes. So. Without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you can hear me well. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, by the way, wireless mic is back. I hope it's working and uh, I hope the sound quality is good. So I'm going to stand up and uh, get going. I'll show you exactly where I am here. So it is a little park. This is uh, Okachimachi Station, which is uh, basically one stop-ish from uh, the JR line. Uh, of Weno State, it is the JR right? of Weno Station. So nice little park here. We've been here before, and uh, yeah, let's just go walk through. Now, some of you might be wondering how to buy train tickets out of the vending machines here. Uh, I'm hoping I have success today, and uh, I hope you enjoy the scenery. I really do. So sounds good so far. Awesome. Thank you, uh, Indigo Rose. Hey, so I guess this would all be on the Okocho. We've all. Uh, been walking around here before but uh, it is the morning time so they're going to be setting everything up stop walking on the roads Drew but we are heading just straight to uh, Weno Station from Okachimachi Station this all area here is all the station for Okachimachi with all the amazing businesses underneath the ugly hairy monster good morning welcome back for all you coffee lovers out there, Beck's Coffee is here. There are a few coffee uh, places actually along here. Uh, Detour Coffee, Excelsior Coffee, and Beck's Coffee. So for those of you that love coffee, we know Jason M does, of course. <coughs> you can see the big uh, Don Quixote uh, sign up there. I haven't been to this Don Quixote ever yet. So I'm gonna have to do that one time. And of course, uh, for all our Patreon members, uh, I did post a video on uh, shopping in Don Quixote uh, yesterday, I believe. I forgot to uh, post another video, so I'll try and get that to, to you guys tonight or tomorrow, just so you know. But the infamous uh, Ueno uh, lottery shop is just right there where I'm pointing. And uh, it's famous for a couple reasons. They have a lot of winners, and they got a little shrine that you can pray at. But it's not open until uh, 10 o'clock or so. So and while you're here, please smash the like button. Truly appreciate it. And I hope you enjoy something uh, a little bit different than a Lost in Tokyo video. You know, we've been on a Shinkansen together, but we've never. Don Quixote, baby, the craziest store in Japan. Uh, ticket store here getting ready you can uh, you know save a couple hundred yen on uh, tickets 
Kropokos, how are you, Reed? Hi, Carmen. Say hi to Carmen, please. <coughs> I was thinking about you the other day, Reed, actually. Don't ask why. This is uh, one of my favorite uh, vegetable stores. It looks like a mess right now in the morning. Hey, Merry Christmas, how are you? Are you getting on a train or is this an announcement? I'm getting on a train, Merry Christmas. I got, after, when I went to Vegas, ladies and gentlemen, Reed, um, of course, you know, the great supporter that he is, uh, has one of my uh, Totally Drew hats in blue. And I thought it looked so good that I had to go get one myself. So that's why I was thinking about you, Reed. And I was reminiscing over that damn Reuben sandwich pictures the other day, too. So, oh, I, oh, that garbage truck stinks. Man, oh, man. But yeah, we're just taking a quick walk through uh, Amiyoko Cho here. This is where all the markets are um, along here. You'll see them all, you know, all the trucks setting up. I'm doing kind of interesting things. This is a new store here. You can tell, obviously, by all the flowers and all the uh, companies and neighbors uh, supporting them. So I, this is called Ichiraku. I have no idea. This here is, uh, of course, my favorite uh, seafood shop. Just because of the shrimp that they have there, you can get like a 15 to 20 count for like 10 bucks. It's pretty good. A lot of uh, Chinese and Korean shops along here. Of course, on the left side, you got the food. Um, I just can't believe that they keep that meat out there in the sun. I just, oh, that's my pet peeve. Should have it covered up at least. Of course, along here, you got uh, Chinese restaurants. You got the chicken man, you have the kebab places. These are all setting up. Of course, you have, I like these signs here. Like these, they look very old, but they're not. Hey, Super Dave, how are you? Long time. So I think this is a little sake uh, store, or beer store. Of course, Uncle Joe's got the Korean chicken going on there. Still haven't made it there. I've said it like 10 times in, a li in live streams. Oh, I gotta go there. I never make it. But you can see, even though it's only nine o'clock in the morning or so, they're still not set up for business. Some of them are. This is that place that, again, it is covered with germs. Yeah, exactly. See, I just, like, ew, no, thank you. Matty H, hi, welcome back. How are you today? So yeah, as soon as we get to Wendell Station, ladies and gentlemen, um, <coughs> we're going to try and get some tickets. So I'm going to show you a little bit inside uh, Wendell Station and then get onto the platform, get my train. Hopefully, uh, nobody is sitting beside me. I can't see people on a Monday morning going out to Ibaraki. I would imagine everybody's coming from Ibaraki into uh, Tokyo for work, but uh, you never know. A bit of everything is not open. Of course, there's the big tuna. The tuna. And yes, smoking is okay. My favorite kind of restaurant. <laughs> Moderators, thank you very much uh, for those of you that are here. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. I see Nancy, uh, Knight Riders Gal, and Vin. And Merry Christmas, of course. I love this alleyway. I've done so many Instagram photos. At nighttime, they actually set up booths out here and uh, people are sitting in this dirty alleyway drinking. Now you guys always think, you know, Japan is very clean. Hi Janet, good morning. Hey Elizabeth Mante, how are you? Very rarely do you see a mess like this, but back in this area, you will find a lot of junky kind of areas. I always thought that said no bombs. It's no garbage, but... Oh, one couple Zeki. I wonder who that's for. But yeah, you'll see all kinds of uh, crazy ass things going along here. So we only got about 15 minutes, so I gotta hurry as I'm walking along here. 
So we will be passing by, uh, kind of going up the Jobon line. Uh, we're going to be passing, obviously, through a bit of uh, Tokyo into Chiba. Um, on the west side of Chiba, going straight north, and then uh, we'll be hitting uh, Ibaraki. Um, once we kind of get out a bit, it's going to be more countryside. Oh, my favorite curry shop is here. Love it. it yeah, it is uh, a little bit uh, messy mum, but uh, I guess, you know what, it is what it is, right? Because look how clean it is. Oh, cop on a bike. And now we've uh, basically walked through all of, hey, Leith, how are you? Never be sorry. Thank you uh, very much for always being here. I appreciate it. I really do. And there is, I've always you know, really liked Weno Station. Weno Station is actually a lot bigger than most people think. Especially, the, hopefully I can show you some of the shopping area. But it is uh, truly amazing. Just like all stations are. Every station I believe in Japan, like of the bigger stations, always have something to uh, provide. Of course, if you wanted to catch the subway, uh, the Ginza line and the Hibiya line is straight down that. They're basically underneath. Obviously, it's a subway. And then uh, inside here, you can actually uh, get uh, the regular JR trains here. Uh, I think that's part of the Jobon line or maybe something. Um, you can get uh, the Limited Express trains here. And, hey, Mikey in Vegas, good morning. And uh, no, don't never be sorry. Um, and also you can get the Shinkansen from here. So it is a very useful station, of course. And, you know, basically we are almost basically in the middle of uh, Tokyo. So it is a good uh, hub forever you know you come into Weno and uh, end up going wherever you want to go so gotta just put my mask on here so I'll be shaking the gimbal a little bit here but first off uh, yeah welcome to Weno station Anderson's a good bakery by the way the garden over there, it's a grocery store, uh, Jugoka. Expensive as hell. Expensive as hell. Hi, Lynn Kihara, how are you? I will get more into the comments later on. Rock Hard Cafe, if you are a Rock Hard fan. Again, if you want to go down to the Ginza line or the Hibia line, the subway, you can go entrance in through that way there. But this here is the, hey, Lita, how are you? <coughs> Probably because I don't have the decibels set too much. I'll have to fix that later on. But uh, yeah, we just gotta come over here and get, uh, you know, there are all kinds of different things. The pink, you can charge your tickets, your uh, cards, that you can get your tickets. These are tickets and commuter pass. But we're basically going here and uh, let's see if we can get it. We can also go in and get it through, uh, hey Devin, how are you? So again, I'm gonna press English. See, Hitachi. So we're gonna sit here, oh, please wait without canceling. So I am going to Ishioka today. So I'm gonna pick um, ordinary car. Everything for these tickets are uh, reserved though. You don't have any, uh, Unreserved, so confirm. Now it's going to ask you a uh, window seat or an aisle seat. So, do we want to sit on the left side or do we want to sit on the right side? Um, I think today we're going to sit on the right side. And uh, reserve seats with coupon tickets, tickets from multiple trips set. Do not pick basic fare ticket. Uh, so we have to get this one. And uh, so Weno to Ishioka. And you just confirm here. Gotta get my wallet out. And it's $25.40 and 40 yen. Or 25.40 in yen. So uh, yeah, you just put your cash in and away you go, ladies and gentlemen. <clears throat> it's that easy 
to, uh, well, if I can get the money in anyways. Of course, I'm going to grab some change. And you can just put your change in, in the coin slots here. And there you go. That's it. So I do need a receipt. Got my change. This is your ticket. That is your receipt. Basically right here. And uh, I'm uh, now here, of course, if you have a company, you would write uh, your company name here. I'll take care of that later on. Let's just go inside. <coughs> you do have a board up here. <coughs> so I do have to find out where is my train. So in we go. And uh, you can see right here. Nine. I can't see it. Oh, there it is right there. So uh, we got uh, the Tokiwa 55 at 930 from track number eight. But uh, yeah, let's real quickly. We only got 10 minutes. Hey, Andrew Lubar, how are you? No, oh, you're welcome, Mom. As we walk around here. Um, over here are uh, some of the trains that come in that um, are limited express or regular trains. These are terminus uh, areas where they come in. The train I'm getting today, I think, starts in Shinagawa. So it's going to hit Tokyo. And it's also going to hit um, Weno, of course, and keep going up. So there will be people on board. Now, of course, when you come in here, hey, Jeremy, how are you? Um, this here is the Shinkansen transfer. So, of course, you have to come into the main building. And once you get into here, you uh, put your tickets in again. That's the Shinkansen entrance, exit. You have the boards here for all the times and everything. More police hanging around. And again, if you wanted to come in here, you didn't have your reserve ticket like I have, you can still get it inside here too. Now I am going to be coming up these uh, escalators here and showing you a little bit. We don't have much time. I still got to grab a coffee because don't ever get coffee on these trains. They uh, basically serve you coffee and uh, it's uh, very expensive. So thank you all for being here. I really appreciate it. So you can see that's the Shinkansen entrance, the stores, you know, things like that. Later here, real quickly. Good morning, everybody. Uh, thanks for joining. I hope you enjoy kind of a, a train trip, I guess, kind of a fun thing to do instead of walking around. Uh, hopefully, uh, you'll enjoy uh, I do appreciate the support for the channel, so thank you very much for being here. And uh, it's going to be a long day for me. Um, it's now 9, almost 9.30. Um, I will be arriving there about 10. Hey, why are you tripping? How are you? Um, I will be arriving there at 10.25. So uh, I'll be there basically from 10.30, uh, finishing up at 6.30. And uh, my train is at 7.15 p.m. So I won't be home till 9. So it's a 12, 12 and a half hour day for me today. But it is what it is. So top here um, when you when you are inside Weno station I've shown some of you guys this before but we'll take a real quick walk there are so many businesses up here that uh, you know a lot of people don't really visit because uh, it is inside the train station so if you're not paid hey Jackie hero how are you um, look at this all these there's food restaurants up here there's uh, you know takeout stuff and we're gonna come back up that alleyway in a minute just, uh, you know, regular shops. This is called Anger's Bureau. You know, I don't know why people would want to come in here and get a backpack or, you know, whatever they need. But I guess, if you know, for last minute things or souvenir shops, you got a bookstore here. This is Book Compass, of course. And it amazes me how many people just stand here and read books in the morning. Of course, you got the infamous Uniqlo 
So I guess, you know, if you need a quick shirt or underwear or socks or something, you can come up inside here without leaving um, the station. Devin McLean, that store looks relaxing. It did. Um, and then you can see these are all the platforms going down. The cops are everywhere. And I'll explain that to, to you guys in a minute. This here would be the Jobon line uh, area, of course. You got the whiskey bar, the highball bar back there. Hey, Skull Crusher, good morning. Um, yeah, I guess people are getting their drinks on. I don't even know if they have coffee, which reminds me, I need to go to the vending machine. I need a coffee for the trip. Uh, the problem, we're, we're gonna pay premium price here, ladies and gentlemen, but that's okay. We are inside the station. Today's uh, choice, looks like, is Barista Black at 150 yen and uh, I just want to uh, put the camera down here for a minute just to put the coffee in, the, in my coffee so uh, yeah thanks guys for uh, being here I really appreciate it thank you for yesterday for those of you that were uh, around for uh, the travel. I know it was a little bit boring, I think, before we hit Kitchi Joji, but I thought, I found it kind of interesting at the same time, so hopefully uh, you enjoyed that. But we literally got five minutes to get to platform eight. I cannot miss the train. So uh, we're gonna head over there, like right away and get off. I wanted to walk down here because they got onigiri shops and things like that. I am, uh, what am I? I'm in car, it does show you here, car nine. I'm in seat 7D. These are reserved. So is, uh, if I go down platform eight here, it does say uh, platform eight. You can see the, the uh, board up here. Oh, and by the way, a great vegan restaurant right here. Great, I've even eaten here. It's vegan, I know. Hey Feng, how are you? Well, yeah. By the way, uh, that is the park entrance out to uh, Ueno Park. They've really redone this station um, just before the Tokyo Olympics, actually. But there's so much to see and do here. I'm sorry that I couldn't bring you guys down to the uh, other place. But yeah, let's go down uh, to the platform. Morning, you just... Hey Nathan, how are you? You just answered my question? Okay. We're just along your day. Oh, thanks, I'll go for, I need to get lunch <laughs> once I get to Ishioka. Thank you, Mom, I appreciate that. I always appreciate Super Chats. Like, okay, where, where do I get the train? Where do I get the train? Just read the boards. You can see this is flashing. The train is coming. So if you look down here, that says Hitachi number two. So I think. So far, I got to the boss. Oh, she was cute. I, I used to ask her which way car nine was. <laughs> so if I have people sitting beside me, I'm going to have to be real quiet, of course. But breaking social rules and going down the wrong side of the steps. Whatever, Indigo. <laughs> and you'll see the train coming here in a minute. Travel like I do, I love geeking out on trains. It's always fun, you know? Number eight. So number nine is all the way down here. And yeah, here comes the train, ladies and gentlemen, just so you know. This is my uh, ride for today, or our ride. It doesn't look like a normal train, eh? Look at that. But the seats are very nice inside. And I can see car number nine right here. So, let's go on here. I am in row 7D. I'm just going 
to uh, put you guys down on uh, this here. Just grabbing my coffee here. And uh, yeah, we're going to turn you guys around. Now, of course, it's almost like riding the Shinkansen, but uh, you can put your seat back a little bit. And of course, now I've got to try and fix my uh, my microphone, but uh, I think if I whisper, it might sound a little bit better. I'm just trying to read the chat here. Totally Drew is a rebel. Why? <laughs> <coughs> so the purpose of this trip obviously is to help you uh, understand how to buy uh, tickets and stuff. Here we go. Uh, for the next uh, about 45 minutes or so. Um, I, hope you can, I hope you guys can hear me by the way. Um, it's uh, all reserved seating, by the way, um, and uh, it goes straight all the way up to, to Hitachi Heishi in Cashman, Hawaii. I thought we are going to Ibaraki. Point the camera out the window here for you to enjoy a beautiful uh, scenery. So right now, right now he's just basically saying what stops there are along the way. Well, it probably could be. It's very clear. Okay, good. I'm, I'm glad that you guys uh, can hear me. Unfortunately, I can't uh, angle the camera, or maybe I can. Kind of uh, coming along along with me. Uh, my, Nathan, my train ticket was 2540. Oh, Mikey and Vegas, thank you. That beer is going to come in handy after work. Jason in Michigan, good morning. But yeah, this Ladies is... And uh, Welcome aboard the here comes the English now, if you can hear it. Bound for we will be stopping at Kashiwa, Tsuchiura, Ishioka, Tomobe, and Mito. Passengers without a seat reservation or limited express ticket may sit in seats displaying a red lamp. However, even though the seat is currently vacant, it may have been reserved for a later part of the journey by another passenger. If so, the seat lamp will turn yellow before arriving at the and we ask you to please give up your seat at that time. Car 5 is for passengers with green car... So what she's talking about is you can see the little green light and the red light up there. Uh, the green light somebody's bought a ticket for and he's sitting there. The red light is uh, nobody is sitting there. Now, I don't know if you can see, but there's a yellow light up there, and that's probably somebody in Kashiwa uh, that's bought a ticket, and um, we're going to come in and sit down. That light will turn green. Um, but you can sit in any of these lights that are red. So hopefully that uh, helps, and uh, yeah, we're just basically going up 
along the Jobon line through Tokyo. Kathy, three, good morning. How are you? No, Nathan, it is a great uh, idea for empty seats, absolutely. Now, of course, this train doesn't go as fast as Shinkansen, but I probably still say, you know, once go about 100 kilometers an hour at least. Hello, Sherry. I don't know any football scores. Don't spoil anything for me, people, please. But with the Ravens winning, yeah. ただいま社内営業はございます。社内販売の営業はございません。ご了承ください。お客様にお願いいたします。新型コロナウイルス感染症拡大防止の観点から、手洗いや咳エチケット、会話を控えめにしていただき、社内駅構内ではマスクの着
takes you up into the Saitama area. This is kind of cutting over uh, into Chiba now. Of course, you got the nice openness of the uh, river, the highway. Yeah, read um, tourism. Get over here. Yeah, Jason, it's a beautiful day again here. Uh, I'm not exactly sure what the uh, the Celsius temperature is or Fahrenheit, but uh, I'm probably going to say it's at least 23 to 25 degrees Celsius right now. And you'll notice um, my gimbal is actually uh, a little bit slanted, and that's because of the train uh, when it goes around curves and things like that. Um, it's actually trying to stay as straight as possible. So that train there is part of the Joban line, I think. All trains have different colors. And that's how you can tell the different uh, train lines. Oh, we're starting to pick up a bit of speed now. Hey, Christian Hansen, good morning. That blue train we're passing by is another limited express. Uh, that one actually goes out into the Chiba area. 24 degrees Celsius, and Nicole, thank you. Ken Davis talking about ASMR, so this, ladies and gentlemen, is your ASMR train ride in Tokyo. How many of you in the chat right now actually like riding tr different styles of trains? Um, whether it's Amtrak or, uh, I guess back in America it would be Amtrak or sleeper cars or uh, have been to Japan riding some of these great, uh, you know, JR trains, Shinkansen, things like that. Love your laugh, by the way. Thank you, Sherry. I think. And by the way, for all you smokers out um, there is, uh, like the Shinkansen's provide, it's uh, suck it up and have a smoke when you get off the damn train. It's kind of cool to pass by some of these uh, train stations along the way. You'll see people lined up for their morning commute. Oh, see, that's one thing I've always wanted to do, Sherry, is ride uh, one of the uh, trains across Canada or across America. That'd be so cool. You know, three days on a train, have a, a sleeper car or a cabin or something. It's always something I've always wanted to do. On the TVG in France, I'm trying. Oh, the, TV, the TGV VIN, that is one of my dreams to go on to. But obviously, I've never been in France, so... All right, so we're picking up a bit more speed here. Oh, my ears started ringing. Would want to go on an old steam locomotive. That would be nice too, Christian Hansen. Now it is only three stops to my location today. Um, I believe that they had said we're going to stop off in Kashiwa, uh, Tsuchira, and then Ishioka. Yes, it is Monday morning here. Go oh, see, look out! That's a golf course there, but it's nice to uh, see some of the greenery. Okay, not that greenery. Kind of show you the other side.
uh, Andrew Lubar, yes, I am, uh, I take trains to work every day. Uh, today I am traveling uh, across three prefectures, of course, so starting in Tokyo, going a little bit through Chiba and up into Ibaraki. Uh, today I'm actually going to see one of my managers um, have a staff meeting and uh, I'll be there for about seven, eight, eight hours basically. It's going to be a long day. And uh, then I have to travel all the way back. So it's like a nine hour work day. And I guess what, an hour and a half travel each way. Uh, no, I will not be near that big Buddha uh, reed. I wish uh, I could go there. And uh, I think that would make for a great live stream in, in the future. But whether I can get out there or not, I have no idea. So. mics back uh, yesterday look at that the the, the, the the whole camera is moving uh, due to the balance of the train um, unfortunately I had to pay uh, 2600 yen um, for some postal duty charge and that kind of upset me because um, you know the person that sent it to me uh, did mark it as a gift but, you know, that was part of uh, the reason I started off yesterday, to, not in a bad mood, but having a bit of a bad day, because I found out about it. But you know what? We got it. And they actually sent me brand new uh, two microphones, uh, the receiver. Um, of course, we have our uh, dead cats now. And, um, and a little uh, compartment pouch, um, all to replace my, my broken ones. So. It was, it was pretty good. It's worth the wait, I think. But, uh, yeah, I just want to say thank you to everybody yesterday for the last couple of videos. Basically, you know, kind of balancing, but um, we're, you know, we are turning at different corners and stuff, so sorry that the camera's always moving, but um, right now, um, we're just basically in Chiba now, and uh, we are basically traveling over to Kashiwa. Um, some people will get on. The train doesn't stop long, and that's why when I was in Weno, um, I was a bit worried because I had to get down to the platform and, and like you saw, if you were here, um, the train literally stops for about a minute and uh, people get on and it goes because trains are very... Train trains around the world are on trains is a good channel. You cut my end in Victoria on Thursday, prep is a pain. Yeah, I bet it is. Um, okay. I gotta tilt my head for whichever way we're going here. <laughs> City, and it kind of sucks. But yeah, let's point the camera out the window again, give you a, a nice travel view of uh, Chiba area. So beautiful area. I will say though, if you are a train enthusiast, um, sometimes tra traveling on trains can be boring. So you know, please you know use your cell phone, play your games, read your books. Because um, if hey, Pool K, good morning and welcome. Uh, if you are you know wanting to see scenery. Um, sometimes you're not going to see the best scenery. Uh, sometimes, you know, depending on what you like, uh, uh, I, mean, I mean many buildings, um, what you're going to get now. Once we get past Kashiwa, um, we should 
hit more of the countryside area, so uh, a bit more scenic. We'll see the rice fields and, um, you know, hopefully some things of interest along the way. All right, so that chime there is basically preparing to say in Kashiwa soon. Uh, ba basically, what he's saying right now is, "Hey, we're uh, we're going to arrive at uh, Kashiwa. Um, the next stop is Suchira." Um, and then they also inform you of the train transfers. So he, they basically said like the Tobu Noda line and the, the uh, JR Joban lines you can transfer on here. And uh, it, you know they do give you a lot of information here. The So of course they always uh, announce things in Japanese and it heard, uh, except for the Narita out uh, to the airports, uh, anything in Chinese or Korean. Aduzin Semu Nexo, welcome to the stream. Hello there in Brazil is 9.50 p.m. Awesome. So yeah, we are coming now into Kashiwa Chiba. It's a good little city area. As you can see here. And everybody is waiting on the platform, uh, basically over there. Now, you know, maybe you might get a few people coming, but primarily it's not that busy uh, going out to Ibaraki in the morning. See, he just basically went from wherever, maybe Tokyo or Weno. Uh, some people, you know, actually don't take uh, the regular train. They'll take one of these limited express trains to get a little bit faster to work. Uh, I find that one of the interesting things uh, about Japan, because most companies, 99% of the companies here, do pay for your transportation cost uh, to and from work every day. So some people actually can travel um, by Shinkansen or limited express trains and get reimbursed for their travel. So that can actually be uh, very resourceful, but also makes your travel a lot better. Um, I take a regular train um, <coughs> uh, to work every day. Um, it's just faster, but uh, there are some people that live in Ibaraki that travel into Tokyo. There are some people that live, you know, in Guma and uh, travel. Some people live in Shizuoka and live all the way, uh, work all the way in Tokyo. So it is uh, pretty good. It's forty-five dollars about normal for pricing. Sorry, Sherry, I missed uh, what you had said earlier. Uh, let me scroll back here and see if there was a question. I'm not sure he meant by 45, or maybe that wasn't to me. <laughs> Can you guys hear me from here? Is the volume okay? Just let me know in the chat if you can hear me. Yes, can you hear me? 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 Yes, can you hear me?
So the next stop we will now be Tsuchira. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome aboard the Tokiwa Limited Express bound for Katsuta. We will be stopping at Tsuchira, Ishioka, Tomobe, and hey, Chris, Miko. Reed, good morning. Passengers without a seat reservation or limited express ticket may sit in seats displaying a red line. However, Thank you, Mom. even though the seat is currently vacant, so just real quickly, I wanted to bring to your attention. Remember, for those of you so remember that light there was yellow. So when we got to Kashiwa, the person that had purchased the ticket got on the Kashiwa, and now it's turning green, as you can see. So it was yellow, and now it's green. And then once you get off the train, they turn back to being red again. The next stop will be Tsuchiu. Thank you. 
hope for any of you train geeks out there uh, that you do enjoy this. Um, you know, just basically showing you what it's like for train travel, but also showing you, you know, um, you know what the view is going to be like if you did travel up to Ibaraki or other places. I've always enjoyed it myself. Merry Christmas if you actually got on the next station. Basically, some older uh, rice fields. Now, it looks like some more things. These are rice fields that are passing by right now. Oh, damn, it was too late to show you. Yeah. The yellow. I don't know if you can see the yellow. Uh, those are rice fields. Looks like a bunch of green onion fields. Um, along the way here see all kinds of uh, different things. Uh, they grow soba, they grow uh, rice of course. Pachinko, big ass pachinko there. enough that I can't even see what stations are passing by. good half an hour um, in my den, uh, kind of reminiscing about pictures of my son and had a, a really good belt of uh, whiskey, absolutely. Oh, 
Basically just passing through all these little towns along the way. Which is still nice to see, you know. Some people get tired of looking at Tokyo all the time, and trust me, I do, because I live there. Um, so it's always nice to have uh, these trips outside of Tokyo. Uh, it's in Ushiku, okay, thank you, uh, Crabble Quest. So, of course, I'm going to have to branch out. Uh, I do want to take you guys up into the Tochigi area uh, one day. Maybe we'll make a day trip up there. I know some of you like the Nico area. So the only problem with Nico is the uh, trans is the reception uh, for live streaming is a bit difficult. But um, There's also the Togu World Square. Uh, if any of you are familiar with that, uh, it's basically got miniature replicas of all the um, places like the Taj Mahal or uh, you know, the CN Tower, you know, whatever. Um, I had to throw the Canadian thing in there. Um, it's also a very interesting uh, trip to complete in 1993. It stands a total of 120 meters tall. Well, I, you know, I've never been there, so I think we're going to have to we're gonna have to make a GoFundMe so I can go out there. today it's about a 45 to 50 minute train ride 
so that's not long at all. Um, you know, from my regular work, door to walk take to work, at least to my office. It's about an hour and ten minutes. for work, you know, you could, depending on where you live and, you know, things like that, but typically people, you know, if they do tra take trains to work, um, could be anywhere from 30 minutes to an hour and a half. And it can get a bit daunting after a while.
characters here, they uh, basically walk through the train. Uh, they have been walking through uh, during this trip, but they're just basically checking uh, to see if these lights are here and if anybody's sitting in the seats because they have this little electronic uh, board thing that they know people should be sitting at, so on and so forth.
Thank you. That's the guy. Oh, thank you, Crap Request, for the information. Basically, we're on the platform. Oh, we're already going now, anyways. I thought the brakes release. Look at that little apartment building there. Oh, he's running. Where are you going, buddy? Please check. Let me know in the chat, please. Bye, Leith. trains I'd love to do something for like 48 hours or even you know 72 hours take a train
がとうございます。特急特急は55号勝田行きです。先ほど先行の列車の安全確認を行った影響でただいま4分ほど遅れて走行しておりますお急ぎのお客様にはご迷惑をおかけしております申し訳ございません But there we go, a bit of countryside. You see the mountain range in the back there. And these are all vegetable fields, of course. Christmas, really, you're asking about the Jetsons? You don't know? Jetsons is one of the greatest cartoons ever. Bugs Bunny, the Jetsons, and the Flintstones. Ladies and gentlemen, we will soon make a brief stop at Ishioka. The stop after Ishioka will be Tomobe. Thank you. So a little bit of interesting thing is the first announcement you heard was an automatic train announcement. Uh, the last announcement you heard in English also an automated uh, voice announcement. The middle one was actually the conductor girl uh, speaking in Japanese. So um, you do get like an automatic bing 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 uh, announcement.
understand that one. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Ishioka. This is uh, basically the whole train here that uh, we were on. Of course, we were basically sitting, if you can hear me now, we were basically sitting right in this area right in here of the train. And uh, it is 10 cars long, of course. We'll just say goodbye to the train. 68 likes, thank you guys so much. And now it's uh, the next stop is going to Tomo Bay. You can see, I don't know if you can see inside the window, but not very many people. So I haven't fixed the decibels on this yet. That's the girl. She's checking the safety of the trucks as they go in. She'll pop her head back in. And, uh, oh, Ibaraki Flower Park, cool. So I'm just gonna kind of uh, explore this uh, little bit of an area first for a minute. But uh, yeah, first we gotta get rid of our ticket. Sorry guys, uh, I, I didn't fix the decibels too much on my microphone, so turn the volume down. <laughs> Pretty skinny elevator, or escalator, right? Eh? That was a really nice train ride. Thanks, you're welcome, Mom. I'm just wondering if I put the microphone here, is the uh, volume a little bit better? I just kind of put the microphone away from my uh, chest now. It's actually on the gimbal. Hopefully it's a little better. <coughs> Uh, yeah, we got to get rid of our tickets. So, you know, when you come when you come here and you're using tickets, of course. Um, oh, that's cool. A lot better. Okay. Hey, friend, uh, that's pretty cool. Ibaraki Activity Kingdom. No idea what this is. Yeah, I, I've kept the microphone away from me. So, sorry, I didn't fix the decibels too much. But now, um, you know, you can travel um, through, you know, IC cards and stuff like that. You just tap. You've seen me do that. But we actually got to put our ticket in. And you just basically insert it in here. And we are done. It's been a couple of years since I've been here. Mike is great. Okay, good. It's kind of nice to see, you know, some of these countryside things. Look at this. This is absolutely gorgeous. I must say. It's been a couple years since I've been here, so. We even got like a little rest area, vending machines, you know, so on and so forth. I'm going to take the escalator down. I've never been to this star. It's, it's a station park here. So let's, let's go check this out first. I see it. Interesting kind of clock. That is pretty cool. Look at this. I hope uh, I see something on the top there. It's called uh, Station Park or something, but you can see it's 10.35, so my train was a little bit late, but um, let me zoom in here real quickly here. That's pretty cool. Let me zoom in one time. There we go. That's pretty damn cool, eh? Dang. All right, so uh, 
So let's see what's on the other side of uh, the station here. I believe I have to, my work location is on that side over there today. <laughs> From what I researched. Another skinny escalator. That is a very cool clock, eh? See the ladies cleaning the uh, escalators. They clean everything. They spend all day cleaning. It's pretty cool. It's actually nice that this country is so amazingly clean. And I got to scout out my lunch for today. If I found an amazing karage shop, that would be freaking awesome, but probably not. Looks like, uh, you know, you do have the local Koban. So I see something here, Kanban Yokocho. Um, I'm going to zoom in because it, it's everything is closed. But off to the uh, left side there, you can see all the shutters. Looks like they got a bunch of izakayas down there. So that would be kind of night for a little countryside place. Well, chat, I didn't even notice this. Whoa. I almost walked away. Look at this. Can you see that inside there? Dang. How can you not like something like that? That's gotta be worth a like. Smash that like button, ladies and gentlemen. Damn. That's pretty cool. Oh, wow. Check it out. <laughs> I got taiko drums, you got these uh, things here. You can see this here. Looks like uh, <laughs> 2,200 yen for that thing or whatever, but look at that. It's for the festivals, yeah. That's pretty damn sweet, man, to be able to see this. This is what I love being able to show you guys. Show you soy sauce! <laughs> Sorry. That's pretty cool. Of course, even the washrooms, I bet you, are freaking clean as hell. And uh, they got Ishioka City Tourist Information Center. Wow, Ishioka's that popular? <laughs> Isn't that freaking cool? Hey, sister. This is what I love about, uh, you know, visiting countryside places. I wish I, I wish I could make it worth my, my time and your time to visit these places more often. Because we're going to see things that are very, very interesting. Even a statue like this. Mintano. Like, you don't see stuff like this much in Tokyo. You know? Pretty damn cool. I gotta say. I gotta say. Nice little area. So let's go for a little bit of a walk. <coughs> I don't know how many people live here. Um, it is a small little town, of course. I'm gonna find a freaking 7 Eleven. Probably on the other side. Looks like this is probably obviously the main uh, road coming along here. Satisfactory. Charmingly space. Sometimes the English just never makes sense. Barbershop. Creepiness back inside there. Obviously, this looks like a uh, blue jeans dining bar. Let's, well, we gotta explore. We do. What's back here? Just literally blue jeans dining bar. Oh, this is uh, Pub Misty. Oh, that's on the second floor up there. Creepy. It looks like it just walks out to the other side. <laughs> I can see the air con or whatever coming out of the wall here, coming all the way along. I bet you the air con machine is out on the street here. I bet you. See, yeah, right here. 
So this is the fan for the air con that is all the way back in there. It's kind of funny how they do things sometimes. Look at this. Oh, I love that, that house or store or whatever that is over there. Some of these places are really awesome here. And I've only walked around for, what, five minutes with you guys? Hey, Connor, how are you? Good morning. Looks like we do have, uh, you know, some places that are uh, brand new. Very local area, though. So I really appreciate things like this. This is uh, some sort of a shop here. I can't really see inside what they had, but it looks like uh, local suites and uh, things like that. I'm just gonna walk up the street and go back to the station because I do have to get to work. But <laughs> do they need that many barber shops on one street? I already passed by two within one block. Happy New Year if you're Jewish. Uh, okay, Happy New Year. I don't know anything about it, but uh, yeah, Happy New Year. Lemon Coca-Cola Zero. Whoa! But they're only 350 milliliters and they're sold out. Ah, oh, that would be awesome to have. Lemon Coca-Cola Zero. Something, some big factory over there. What is that? Ishioka, oh, that's a hotel. Ishioka Plaza Hotel. Probably the, the main hotel people are going to stay at. I like how this lady is carrying her flowers in a bag. This reminds me of one of my old uh, um, I, I grew up just outside of Hamilton, Ontario in a farming town. So this reminds me of like one of those you know, this is downtown, three blocks long and that's it. I know one of our Patreon members uh, Mariah, she was in the chat I think yesterday uh, she actually lives in uh, the Ibaraki area, south of here, actually, I believe. Be nice if I could have seen her today. That would be pretty cool. But she did say, I think, in the chat yesterday, she was coming to uh, <coughs> Tokyo uh, during uh, Halloween. So hopefully I can meet up with her. That would be pretty cool. Yeah, I think staying in an Airbnb in this area and kind of relaxing, kind of like what I did in Nagano in a way, be kind of cool. You can see how old certain things are though, so that's kind of interesting. I literally don't see a 7-Eleven anywhere. I don't see much of anything. Um, I'm gonna step, not that I'm going to step off onto the street though, but you can see the street does end up uh, right there. It just seems like everything is very local area here. Authentic casual, fine used clothing. How can used clothing be fine? I really don't get that. Let's go up here. Elmer. <laughs> Actually, I used to live in. Uh, I, I, you know, in Cayuga, I've lived uh, basically in, ah, uh, oh God, not Stratford, um, a Mennonite town, not Elora. I forget the name of it, but it's pretty cool. Wearing dress shoes. Oh yeah, by the way, yes, I am wearing dress shoes. If <laughs> somebody's asking, can you hear me clicking? <laughs> <clears throat> Not sure, Mom. <laughs> I'll just kind of head back down this way. I do have to get back to the station. Flor Florsheim? I've, no I've heard of that word before, but what is that? Yeah, it is uh, beautiful. Yeah, no more shorts for me. Uh, short season is over now. Um, now it's more uh, me in suits and uh, well I'm going to actually this year 
try to be more casual wearing khaki pants and a nice shirt kind of style thing. Uh, I don't want to be all zoot suited up, of course. Oh, shoes. Okay, John. I thought I heard of that before. Thanks, man. See, these are the kind of houses I've always wanted to have to fix up. You know, you do have the second floor here. Only the second floor is right here. And then you have the whole long area, which is kind of interesting to me. That's probably just the bedroom up there. Sometimes it's kind of weird to see businesses on back streets like we are now. Of course, that's the whole house right there. Which to me is still interesting. I gotta take the microphone off guys. Sorry if it uh, just cracked on you or something, but uh, I'll try and keep it. I gotta fix the uh, decibels on it for the future live streams. You can see the back area here. Again, those are a bunch of pubs. Um, I can see Pub Tiara, of course that's a hostess club. This is, you know, basically showing you all the businesses along the way here, in the back alleyways here. It's all pubs, basically. And, yeah, we'll just head back towards the station there. Pub Diamond. <coughs> <coughs> Obviously, this is the, uh, the nightlife of Ishioka, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> a business there but it looks like it might be somebody's house at the same time maybe upstairs damn another barber shop that's like three barber shops we've seen I can hear a cute little bird <laughs> did I just say cute little bird Ugh, birds are not cute Okay, I want to check for that lemon Coca-Cola. Man, only that one vending machine had lemon Coca-Cola. And then we are, there's the Blue Jeans dining bar that we saw on the other side there. Sailor holding a martini or something. Hmm, interesting. Not sure exactly what uh, this space, this space here would be. Well, I think I'll walk over here and uh, check out uh, that uh, Yokocho thing that I showed you. Might as well uh, come by and uh, see what see what it's basically all about here. So it doesn't look like much is around here. Of course, you get Toyota rent a car. trying to look down the road here but it uh, looks like you know a couple brand new hotels kind of style thing that's about it like it is very Inaka very countryside you know very calm if you like you know not big cities <laughs> not big cities then uh, this might be something for you right oh my god I just saw it right away Hinomaru whiskey well we all know that's my type of place Trattoria Grano. So it's like one, two, three, four, five different little places here. I'm wondering if that's a Chinese place. Oh, that's a Yakitori place actually. It says Yakitori right there. Ya oh, Yakitori. Oh, I've got a creepy statue down here. Right there, creepy statue. Oh, isn't that, um, he's got the wings on the hat and then his wings on his feet. Oh, what's his name? Come on, somebody help me out. Oh, that's like interesting too. But I was talking about this guy right here, not sure. 186 centimeters tall. 
This looks like a nice little relaxing area too, of course. Now they do have a sign over here I want to show you. Because I want to find out too. Oh my, I guess this might be part of an emergency evacuation. Underneath might be something. Yeah, underneath. Check it out, ladies and gentlemen. Underneath here. I don't know, I don't know if you can see that very well or not, but uh, this might be all part of an emergency evacuation thing where you can build a fire, take the thing out, you take this out, build your fires to heat up the water, fresh water, so on and so forth. That's pretty cool. Hey, our rattlesnake, how are you? But yeah, what an interesting little area. Sorry that I am on, you know, traveling for work and everything today, ladies and gentlemen, but, uh, you know, by a show of thumbs up in the chat, would you like me to uh, come out to Ibaraki, uh, maybe to see the great big Buddha in Ushiku, uh, up into Tochigi, to maybe take a day trip and do a couple live streams. Uh, let me know by a uh, show of thumbs up. Because I need to get out of Tokyo. See, even though now he's raised the shutter, you know, the restaurants look nicer. Obviously. Look at all the plasma thumbs up. Awesome. Of course, there are stairs to go upstairs, but oh, I'm always going to take... Uh, it says rooftop square. I wonder what that is. Maybe we can check that out in a minute. Hey, oh, hi, Luan. How are you? I didn't see you there if you've been here for a while. <coughs> But yeah, this is so cool. This was this was pretty co dope. I'm telling you guys. Okay, thank you. Merry Christmas. Don't like Family Mart, but I guess it'll have to suffice. <laughs> Looks like a TD crew member. I won't say who. And, uh, yeah, I think that'll do it for today, ladies and gentlemen. I'm just going to head back up, uh, take the escalator back up. What a very calming, very quiet uh, little area here. Oh, thank you, Mom. I appreciate that. Uh, if you are lucky enough, it looks like uh, Knight Rider's Gal just gifted 10 more... Uh, uh, Emoji Club or channel memberships. Uh, just to let you know that if you do receive one, if you do continue on after the month, uh, it is only 190 yen. Uh, and we do donate that to a local charity here in Japan, Shine On Kids. I think as a community, it's a great thing to do uh, to do that. And uh, thank you, Mom, for that. And then, yeah, we'll just finish up here. The Four Seasons of My Hometown. Uh, spring, summer, f autumn. So spring, the field horse tail bow. Uh, the summer is bonnet bus. Uh, autumn is red dragonfly, and winter is snowball fight. So I think that's what these uh, here represent, which is still pretty cool. It's pretty damn cool, man. Yeah, but I'm not Twitch uh, John, so. I think YouTube got the idea from Twitch, obviously. So that's the snowball fight there. And uh, yeah, we're just gonna head down to the other side and say goodbye. And uh, seriously wanna say thank you to everybody and find that family mark before all of the uh, teachers of Ibaraki come and wonder who's this foreigner uh, live streaming. <laughs> Looks like the bus terminal is off to the right down the stairs there. A lot of open field, you know, it is countryside here, of course. Yeah, so these stairs go down over to the uh, 
the bus stop. Yeah, I like that stained glass or, you know, whatever it uh, represented or it was. And there we go, ladies and gentlemen, Ishioka Station. And we have a ledge. We have a ledge, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to use the post box today. But uh, yeah, thank you all for uh, joining. I know it's not typically what I do, but I thought uh, some of you might uh, enjoy uh, this. And um, you know what? That's basically how to get tickets in Weno for a train like this. And um, you know, how to travel on the train, seeing, you know, seeing what we see. And uh, here in this cute, I guess, uh, little area of uh, Ishioka. Ibaraki. So uh, thank you moderators uh, for being here. Thank you community. Thank you for Emoji Club and gifting the, the memberships. Uh, truly appreciate it. Uh, we're getting higher and higher the more uh, that are, they are gifted of course and I hope everybody does renew. Uh, check out the community page because uh, if you are uh, an Emoji Club member uh, I do post on what each month we uh, donate so on and so forth. Uh, Patreon members thank you. Truly appreciate you. And I uh, hope you I hope you really enjoyed today. Uh, we will be back soon in a few days, and um, yeah, just I really hope you enjoyed it. So, thank you everybody. Truly appreciate it. All right, here we go. Please check out these two videos here. Join our Patreon, become a part of our uh, TD Crew private community, and subscribe. Keep it real, keep it raw, sure to yourself because I always do. Have a great day, everybody. Gotta go to work. Bye.